How's it going everybody? Austin Carter here with the Tack Line Leather. If you saw my previous video, you saw how I tooled out this hat patch. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how I dye uh, and antique this patch. I get a lot of questions about my dyeing and antiquing process, and so I'm going to utilize this video to cover that. Um, as you see here, I'm using a leather dye, I'm uh, using black, and just applying it liberally over the piece. Uh, you're going to want to make sure that you get an even coverage when you apply it. Sometimes you can see uh, spots on pieces where it's maybe not so heavy of a coat. And uh, one of the things that I use instead of using a paintbrush for the entire thing you'll see that I use a q-tip and I cover like medium to large spaces with that if I have really large spaces I'll just use a dauber but q-tips work really well for uh, quick coverage <clears throat> of, uh, of fairly large areas and after I die I move to painting I always dye my pieces first um, that way, and that way, I can, uh, you know, if there's anything that maybe the paint needs to cover up a little bit, it covers over dye a little bit better. Um, whereas if I painted everything, dye doesn't really um, gel well with paint. Um, if I have to get up close, um, and then you also, you know, don't have to worry about the dye bleeding onto your paint. I get a ton of questions about why I burn my daubers and the reason I do that is the fuzzies, uh, the fuzz on the daubers can, uh, will come off onto your projects when you tan coat them as you see I'm doing here and what the tan coat will do is seal and lock those fuzzies onto your projects and it's very difficult to get them off and it just uh, doesn't make your projects look very good especially if you're going to antique them later uh, the antique will kind of uh, show the outlines of the the fibers of the fuzzy so you want to make sure you burn your daubers every time after you put your first layer of tan coat down you work, you're gonna want to make sure that that dries completely after it dries completely I go ahead and put on my layer of uh, antique paste and uh, I just here I'm using a dark brown and pretty much uh, I wipe it off as quickly as I, I apply it and so you don't want it to sit there for a very long time um, or else it will um, it'll darken your leather more than you want it to um, after the antique paste completely dries I go back over it again with another layer of tan coat um, instead of applying the tan coat on the second layer with the dauber I just go ahead and put it on a paper towel and kind of rub down the entire piece and this just again seals the whole project and so this is basically what I do for every single leather project that I do when I'm antiquing and so you can uh, take this and use it with other projects thanks for uh, sticking around and watching my videos y'all have a great day